not until light comes power does not flow speak to your friend tell your friend not until light comes power does not flow the holy ghost was offering over the deep the bible says there was darkness the bible says everywhere was void without form and void in that formlessness in that state of void everything being void as it were the holy ghost was in it there was darkness in all the face of the earth and the holy ghost was in it overing overing over emptiness overing over nothingness your life can be empty and the holy ghost is there You don't like what I'm saying. Ooh. Ooh. The church can be empty and the Holy Ghost is there, over it. <laughs> the, oh, oh, the shop is empty and the Holy Ghost is there, over it. I'm a cano, man. We, 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 are, we are gathering to pray every morning and the Holy Ghost is over it. <laughs> we, we are praying and the Holy Ghost is over it. And the, the, the bank is empty. The Holy Ghost is hovering. Hovering, hovering over the account number. Hovering over the finances. But one is not there. <laughs> the crusade is empty. But the Holy Ghost is hovering. Flyers are being printed. You carry all of God. Anointed to a territory. Power. God says you will take this one for me and you go to that darkness. You say, what? What, what, what is happening? But I'm anointed. You are anointed. The Holy Ghost was hovering in darkness and nothing happened. Yeah. Don't be the first time. I am telling you that you can be spiritual. You can love God. You can, you can, you can pray. You can fast. The Holy Ghost is hovering over your life. It, uh, the Holy Ghost is so much over him that if I touch you, power will, will pass me back. Yet there is nothing in your life to show for it. You see, the, the way we, the way, believers, the Bible says, before emptiness and void and darkness, are you following me now? could be replaced could be exchanged what happened was that light came that was the first thing that happened let there be light the moment light came the bible says and god said firmament cloud creation began it means that creation could not begin in darkness light had to come before creation could come we talk about wealth creation wealth creation will not happen because the spirit is hovering it will happen because there is light the entrance of thy word it will happen because there is light illumination knowledge so we see believers praying we see believers fasting we see believers oh god oh god and god is saying can your mind not be renewed can your mind not be renewed can you not come to a level of understanding and see how much power will flow through you when you want prosperity his divine power to prosper may be trapped in your spirit but you still do not see the outworking of prosperity in your life this is because his divine power to prosper does not flow through prayer if all you know is prayer you will heal the sick but remain poor his divine power is limited through the lack of knowledge you must give that power channels to flow in your life through spiritual understanding 
the more spiritual understanding you have, the more you see His divine power at work in your life. The more you are giving the divine power channels to flow into various areas of your life, various faculties of your life. It matters that we have understanding. It matters. I am powerful. Man of God, I don't doubt you, but show me how knowledgeable you are, and I will show you how, how much the power can flow. I am anointed, no doubt, but show me how much enlightenment you have, and I will show you how much the power can go. If my understanding is limited to the healing ministry, that is the only area you will see the power of God flow. You will continue to fast and you will continue to pray. More power will be released towards healing. Sit down. The day you learn the economic principle of the kingdom, you will now see power released there. Do you understand what I'm saying now? It was always there, but a bankruptcy of the understanding that makes for it trap the power of God. It will not do us much to just pray and do impartation than the area you are trusting God for. Maybe it's the area of speed and promotion. You don't have any understanding in that area. It means you won't see manifestation there. All that area of your life that your mind has been open to receive transformation, you will see the power of God flow through in those areas. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Yes. If the only spiritual understanding that you have is for restoration, the more you pray, the more you see things being restored. Whereas every area of your life is unfruitful. You want to be promoted in your place of work, for instance. The power of God will not only flow through favor, it will also flow through competence. See thou a man diligent in his work, not prayerful in his work, not watered in his work, not living a fasted life in his work. See thou a man diligent in his work. He shall stand before kings. There is power in diligence. When you become diligent, a dimension of the power of God that has never flowed now starts flowing. That's why some people will never prosper. Because every time they promise a client, they disappoint. Prosperity, when it comes to the power, will never flow inside that area because diligence and competence is not yet there. When will my shoe be ready by next week? And I keep on calling, I keep on calling. A month has gone, two months have gone. Where is my shoe? I'm sorry, my machine broke down. Oh, I'm sorry, I was in church. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even have enough. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not have enough. That same person will come to church carrying equipment and saying, God, prosper me. The power will come. And will, die, will be diverted towards the area your mind is opened in. So you will see that the power will enter your life. Huh? And you will see more prophetic at work. Your finances will not be touched because the laws that govern it, your mind has not been open to them. 